Hey, good morning. I'm uh, on my way into work this morning, sitting in the parking lot, reading my Bible, and uh, opened up to the book of Galatians. And as I'm uh, <clears throat> reading here in Galatians, just some things stood out to me. I mean, as I'm driving to work, I'm thinking about this too. And as I, I mean, not while I was driving, wasn't reading, but um, I was just thinking about this, you know, coming into work. I, I got up this morning on a mission. I got up, got ready for work. I came to work, I'm sitting in a parking lot, getting ready to go into work. <clears throat> I had a purpose, you know, I had a mission. I wasn't thinking about much else, but going to work this morning. And so I started reading Galatians and I'm looking at this and, and thinking, you know, thinking about the Apostle Paul, you know, called by God. He says it in the beginning here in this greeting, he says, Paul, an apostle, not from men nor through man, but through Jesus Christ and God, the father who raised him from the dead and all the brothers who are with me. So, you know, he's called by God. And as I'm thinking about this, you know, um, coming into work, a lot of people love to talk about, you know, well, I come to Christ because I was at a low point in my life or uh, they have to hit rock bottom before they'll realize their need for Christ. And and uh, looking at the Apostle Paul's life, he, he wasn't at rock bottom. He wasn't um, at a point where he was broken and needed, had this need for Christ. He was seeking to persecute Christians. He was a Pharisee of the Pharisees. He was at the top. He had so much zeal for his belief, his uh, following his Judaism and he was going seeking to put Christians in prison or have them put to death on the road to Damascus he wasn't seeking to become a convert of Jesus Christ he wasn't seeking Christ he was seeking Christians to throw them in prison and to put them to death and so we, we don't see here with the Apostle Paul him again being at rock bottom we see the fact that he was called by God. And the Bible says here in, in Galatians, as I was reading down in verse 15, it says, but when he who had set me apart before I was born, Paul clearly is talking, he's speaking about himself here. I know a lot of people love to talk about Romans 9 and say, well, well, it's talking about nations. And, and this is uh, speaking of the chosen nation of Israel and then not the nations of Israel. Uh, I think Romans 9 is clear. I think people, uh, where there are references to nations, uh, but there's also references to individuals, and I think people try to blur the lines there um, <clears throat> to fit their theology rather than just reading what the, the text actually just says. But Paul's here saying, look, but when he who set me apart, speaking of God, set him apart before he was born, Paul didn't have a have a choice in this matter. Paul didn't wasn't seeking to choose God. Uh, he was called by God. And um, he was set apart before he was born. <clears throat> we see that with Jeremiah, you know, called to be a prophet in the womb. You know, Jeremiah didn't have a choice in whether or not he was going to be a prophet of God. Well, Paul was called for a specific purpose to bring the gospel to the Gentiles. It says here, as I said in verse 15, but when he who had set me apart before I was born and who called me by his grace was pleased to reveal his son to me, in order that I might preach him among the Gentiles. So Paul, being called by God, again, he wasn't seeking Jesus Christ. He wasn't at rock bottom. You know, <clears throat> if you was to look at the, the career of Paul, uh, or as Saul, as, a, as a, uh, a, a Pharisee of Pharisees, I'm sure the people around him looked at him and said, man, this, this man is going to be one of the top of the line Pharisees. He's going to be one of the, the, the top Jewish leaders if he stays on this path that he's on. All this zeal that he has, all this, you know, seeking uh, to advance in Judaism. And uh, yet he was not seeking to be a convert to Jesus Christ, but yet he was called by God to do so at the right appointed time that God was going to do that. And it happened to be on the road to Damascus when he was confronted by Jesus Christ and uh, from that point, we see Paul, uh, then, who gets converted to Christianity, 
begins to follow Jesus Christ and uh, goes out and takes the gospel to the Gentiles. <clears throat> I don't know. I just just reading that this morning, just just looking at that and um, thinking. Here I am. I'm driving to work and, and thinking about this mission that I'm on, in a sense, mission. You know, going and accomplishing what I've got to do today. Going to work, not thinking about much else except of what's on my mind for what needs to be done today. And uh, I can think of Apostle Paul, you know, doing that. Hey, I'm on this mission. I'm going to Damascus, on the road there to Damascus, and I am going to put these Christians in 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 jail. I'm going to arrest them, have them arrested and thrown into jail. Some of them may be put to death, uh, not considering or thinking he was going to have an encounter with Jesus Christ uh, and and then come into faith. And so we don't have to be at our rock bottom. God may use that in, in some individuals' lives, being at rock bottom, or you may be at the top of your life. You may be thinking everything's working out. Everything is great. I've got a great job. I've got a great family. I've got everything going my way. Why do I need Jesus? Right, it doesn't one way or the other um, bring you to Christ. It's the Word of God that He uses uh, in in bringing people to faith. And uh, regardless of where you are, status wise, or where you think you are in your life, God is the one who saves, and um, He does so through His Word. So just like Paul, called by God, you know to preach the gospel, to be an apostle, and preach the gospel to the Gentiles. Uh, it is God who does the calling. It is God who does the saving. The Bible says in Romans 8, you know, those who he predestined, those who he foreknew, he predestined, those who he predestined, he called. Those who he called, he justifies. And those who he justifies, he glorifies. It's all the work of God, which should just cause us to fall on our knees and praise him praise him uh, for the mighty works that he does so give him praise today and uh, give him thanks because he is worthy to be praised mm -hmm.